joins us now to talk about new approaches to mental health care and why that is so important right now. Thanks for being here today, Kurt. Thank you, Jackie. You know, we've talked before about how it can be very difficult to get health care when you need it. And that's not just in Iowa. The American Psychological Association's Monitor publication last month talked about emerging, emerging trends in mental health care. And the article starts with some numbers from the Kaiser Family Foundation and CNN. 90% of the public feels that we are in a mental health crisis. Half of young adults and one third of all adults report they have felt anxious always or often in the past year. One third of respondents said they could not get the mental health services they needed. And why? Well, 80% cited cost and 60% cited shame and stigma. The shortage of mental health providers doesn't help either. The APA's own figures show that 60% of psychologists say they can't take on new patients. But innovators do have some solutions. More mental health apps, for instance. One of them, SilverCloud, offers therapy skills and practice exercises um, for pe to help people deal with anxiety, depression, insomnia, and other issues. And a nonprofit called Helping Give Away Psychological Science, or HGAPS, now offers a website with tests you can take online. This helps focus issues and offer, uh, helps you, you might learn why you want, might want treatment or you might see issues you might not otherwise have noticed. And last, the article cited data I found interesting. Most patients do not return after their first therapy appointment, even though the doctor thinks they should come back. So a psychologist over in England has developed therapy to help patients in one session. Evidence suggests this model does help patients and it's better than no treatment. So let's help each other break the stigma. There's no shame in seeking help and remember mental health care is health care. You can see how many people that affects, absolutely. Absolutely. And we want to remind people that if you need help right away, you can always call 988 if you're in immediate crisis. Kurt, thanks for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. And stay with TV9. We'll be right back. Your